anytime you wanna communicate with someone on the internet, you need to know their address. What's addressing? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's figure out how we're gonna address our way to communication. If we're going to communicate with each other on the internet, sometimes we'll ask for phone numbers or Twitter addresses or Snap addresses, whatever it may be, handles. We need to know that of each other in order to communicate. But computers have their own addressing or addressing. Every device that participates on that network, they have to have addresses. And to make matters more complicated, they have to have more than one. Why more than one? Because they serve different purposes. So the first address we're going to talk about is an address that when you buy your device, you get your new phone, you get your new laptop, it has its own built-in address. Now it's called a MAC address. Now that MAC stands for media access control. So those are uppercase letters there. In the United States, we call it our social security number, right? That's the number we were assigned at birth. And unless you are in witness protection or something, you're probably not gonna ever get a new social security number. Every device on a network has that assigned address when it is born. So it gets that address. If we have a way to identify this device or identify me as GT, why do I need anything else? Well, if you wanted to send me a letter, which would be kind of odd because people don't do that anymore, knowing my social security number would actually not get it to me. There's no database that says, okay, this human address number does not equal a physical location. They're not the same. Computers have the same problem. That physical address, that MAC address on a computer actually does not say anything about where it is in the world of the internet. MAC addresses are very important though. They are good, they're important for local communication. But in order to get data from one network to another, it needs to know my network address. That identifier is called an IP address. So IP addresses are unique worldwide for what's called public IP addresses. Uh, again, don't worry so much of that word public, just understand that there are a limited number of these IP addresses. If you've done any research or read about networking, you've he probably heard of that we're running out of IP addresses. And that is definitely true. There is a limited number of IP addresses out there. There are two different versions of IP now, IPv4 version four, IPv6 version six. What happened to version five? I don't, I don't know. IP addresses really have one major function, and that is to give computers an understanding of where you are at in the logical world of all network devices. If I pick up my laptop and I go get in the car and I drive to a whole nother state or a whole nother country, and I get to that location, I'm actually gonna get an IP address that is native to that location. So now that I've moved physically, the network world, the you know world of the internet knows that I'm in some other location. But remember my MAC address would not have done that for me. So IP addresses are there to help with location information. The next type of address that we're gonna talk about right now is for an application. So let's, so right now on my laptop, I'm running, maybe I have Twitter open and Instagram and I'm watching YouTube videos all of that are different applications. So this data is coming to me on the same IP address, to my same MAC address, but inside of my machine, my machine needs to know, all right, that data is coming in from you. What kind of data is that? Is it an Instagram post or Twitter or an email? So inside of a computer, it understands the idea of something called port numbers and that number equals an application. If you get real bored right now after this video, or maybe even during this video, you're really bored, you can actually Google ports. Show me a list of TCP ports. They're actually what's called known port numbers. Non-encrypted internet traffic is on port 80. Encrypted internet traffic and lots of traffic is on port 443. Why do I know that? I just, you know, I just supposed to, I guess. So let's just summarize. There's really, there's three types of addresses we've talked about. 
There's local, that's physically with your machine, that's called a MAC address. There are IP addresses, which remember their job is to really just narrow down where your device is in this whole vast world of networking and networks. And the last is a port address, which is really defined of the application that is being used. Think through that, watch the video again if you need to, do a little bit of your own Googling, but just that's the basics of addressing to get data from you to me. Those are the major addresses that we need. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.